We had been having a dinner with her parents. We were driving back home in separate cars. Uh, I was already at the house when I received a phone call saying that she had been um, uh, in a car wreck. Had the green light and went through an intersection and a young man just turned right in and broadsided me on the driver's side door. Car went off the road and almost went down an embankment. I was trapped in the car. Got back there to see all the ambulance and uh, fire truck and emergency vehicles and her car bashed in over on the side of the road near the ravine. Um, and I got over there to see that she was okay, and that she wasn't dead. Um, but we had emergency personnel, the uh, fire department had to take the um, hydraulic jaws of life and pry the door open in order to extricate her. I was uh, in the hospital overnight and I went home the next day because I wanted just to observe the lacerated spleen and make sure it wasn't still bleeding. The thing that lasted the longest and caused the, the longest permanent damage uh, was the broken toe. She was starting to return to her regular work life. Um, and being able to you know, walk the distance as she normally walked and when she realized something wasn't right. Then the um, insurance company just wasn't willing to budge and do anything more to, to compensate me for the pain, level of pain that I was in. They did recommend an additional sur surgery. I already had one surgery on the foot and, and they, they recommended an additional surgery, which I did not want to have. And uh, that's at the point when I reached out to the champion firm. I met with Darrell initially, and he said, you do have a good case. I said, I want to take this to court. I think we can win this. The trial was over a two-day period, and uh, I, I really felt after opening statements, I really was just like, wow. And I used to work for a law firm. I've worked with attorneys for 23 years, as a matter of fact. But Darrell was really amazing. We were all there in the courtroom on the, the, the second day of the trial, waiting for the verdict to come in. 5.30, staff is ready to leave, and um, we're all just waiting. It was, a, it was a huge relief when they came in. When they read, when, when they read the verdict, it was just a validation of what I had been through. It really was. It was, um, I cried then, you know, I did, I cried. Anyway, it was wonderful. I would recommend the Champion Firm because the care and the compassion that I received during my five-year relationship with them after my car wreck, uh, it was just, you don't get that from law firms. You just don't. I know that I've been there. So it was just uncomparable. I mean, it was just amazing. <laughs>